the armchair activist things are not enough. They're, they're not. And, and I say that not with judgment, but with love, because the reality is, is the greatest changes in history have, and history have always come when people are willing to put their bodies where their beliefs are. So many of the rights we take for granted today did not get passed with the stroke of a pen because the collective humanity had a moment of conscious enlightenment. They came because people took great risks, some who have given their lives for very simple, quote unquote, simple rights that many of us take for granted today. So we take them so for granted we don't realize the history of what we have inherited. So it is important that we do remember that the, it does we, it does take all of us being willing to look at our comfort zone and stretch through it to find that next level of possibility. Yoga teaches us that. Mindfulness meditation teaches us that. It teaches us to not be afraid of or run from our uncomfortable edge, but to use it as an exploration, to use that uncomfortableness as a tour guide to lead us into a new area of ourselves, of our awareness of what's possible for us. So the same can be true of being in service. If we all are willing to look at, you know, I can do this, but I, that over there, like, I'm not going to go live in a tree for two years. But there is a version of living, quote unquote, living in a tree for two years. There is a version of that that is possible for each and every one of us. But it's only possible if we're willing to allow that uncomfortable edge to guide us instead of allowing that uncomfortable edge to hold us back. 